Eyewitness News is getting you storm ready. Hurricane season is in full swing. The first named system to hit the U.S. made landfall yesterday in Florida. Tropical storm Claudette didn't pack as much punch as some had expected, but she still brought heavy rains and high winds to that area. And there's a hurricane swirling in the Atlantic right now, too, back home in Rhode Island. Are we prepared? From the hurricane barrier to flood evacuation routes, the state's EMA has some high-tech options to keep residents informed in case of an emergency. I Witness News reporter Stephen Schuller joins us in Providence with details on how you can keep your family safe with just the click of a button. The EMA launched its new website last week and is now using Twitter. So in the case of a blackout, Rhode Islanders can get the info they need with any working PDA. Rhode Island's emergency management agency using high-tech radar and weather equipment to monitor the active tropics. Tropical Storm Claudette hit Florida this morning, and the first hurricane of the Atlantic season, Bill, is growing strength at sea. With hurricane season picking up steam, we wanted to see how state officials would keep the public informed if necessary. Social media is something that is, is important for us to be right out on the cutting edge. The EMA relaunched its website with more interactive features and a user-friendly format. The agency is also turning to Twitter to get out the word. If the TV screens are black, uh, if the power's out, then uh, you know perhaps the uh, cell tower is working and we can uh, uh, tweet a message and get that message out to the people. The new interactive effort is also intended to expand the EMA's reach, including college campuses where it is often difficult to update students on the latest news. A lot of the students today uh, are watching um, you know, traditional media less and less, and they're, they're paying attention to Facebook and Twitter. The Twitter page also gives users the chance to ask state officials about specific information or resources they may need to prepare for a hurricane. To check out the new EMA site or access their Twitter page, head to our website, WPRI.com. In Providence with the Mobile Newsroom, Stephen Schuler, Eyewitness News.